Hello everyone, my name is Victor and that's my first screencast in English, so please bear with me. Uh, what I want to talk today about is uh, Pop. Pop is a new framework released by Facebook. And what I've got here is um, some basic explanation about what what's Pop, some examples, and at the end I have uh, two UI controls. Everything is made completely with, with Pop. Uh, I'm not going to show any code, I'm just going to talk through about these examples and how how I made them and if you want guys you have the project in github so I guess the, the, the link will, will show down there right let's get started we have here um, a comparison between pop and uh, CA basic animation so pop comes with uh, three different types of animation, pop basic animation, pop spring animation and pop decay animation. You have a third one which is a pop custom animation but I haven't used that one. Talking about the basic animation, I have here a comparison between a basic animation with, a, with an easy in is out and a pop basic animation. So more or less they are the same. Um, I guess the, the easy in is out is a bit different but uh, yeah, same thing. Here I have a UI view animation using Spring, which I think was introduced in the iOS 7, and a pop Spring animation. Um, because they have different input values, it was a bit difficult to um, adjust them to be the same. For the UI view animation, you have two input values, which are the uh, duration of the animation and the bounciness. And for the pop spring animation, you have the spring velocity or spring speed and the spring bounciness. Uh, so you cannot set duration in pop spring animation. But uh, yeah, more or the same. At the end, you have the pop decay animation. This this is quite cool. What it does is uh, it takes two values as an input. One is the velocity. So here I'm dragging the layer. And when I release it, I'm getting the velocity from, from the finger. And the second input value is the uh, deceleration. So if you increase this, uh, this, if you decrease this value, sorry, if you <laughs> increase the deceleration, it will take longer to, to stop the, the movement. But what I think is very uh, good about Pop and very powerful is the, the fact that you can animate so many different properties. Here I'm only animating the translation in the x-axis, um, but let's let's go to the examples. Here I'm, I'm using different properties. As you can see, the first one I've used is the alpha value to um, to appear or to show the, the different layers. Here the, at the beginning I have the I'm going to animate the um, color property background color. For that one I'm using a basic animation is in is out pop basic animation and for that one I'm using a pop spring animation so as you can see the color is like bouncing up and down uh, in around the the two value uh, which is quite quite powerful in that one I'm animating the bounce of the layer so I'm, I'm animating the X in the X axis here I'm animating the uh, y. The f I'm flipping the layer on the y axis. Uh, here I'm, I'm going to start combining different uh, animation animations. Uh, here is combining the rotation in the x axis in the, in the x axis and the size of the layer. So it's like going up the screen, going out the screen while it's rotating. For that one, I have a decay animation. Um, because the gay animation is not all about again, it's not about um, it's not just translating a layer. Um, here, what I'm doing is rotating out about well, along the y axis, and if I do that, see, it's, it's pretty difficult to control the two value. Well, you cannot control the two value. That's the downside of the um, the gay animation. So you don't really know where it's going to stop. Like in here, I don't I don't really know where it, where it's going to stop. So I I might lose the layer. If I go too far from the screen, 
Um, so here, sometimes it goes, goes a bit, um, goes a bit crazy. Because if the layer is going is stop in, in here, it just goes crazy. <laughs> Right, uh, so here I have a. Um, so that. Here I have um, many different um, animations concatenating. So it's like a progress bar, download button to progress bar. Uh, I will talk about in more in detail about that one, but what is, what is cool about just this example is that I'm using a custom property, I'm animating a custom property. If we compare those two examples, in that one, the only thing I'm doing is increasing the bounds of the layer in the uh, in the x-axis, but I'm not decreasing decreasing the the layer in in any direction. Here, what I'm doing is decreasing the bounds in the y-axis. That means that the radius has to change. But the radius is not one property that comes by default with pop, so um, that's a custom custom property. So if you wanna, if you want, if you guys want to check that one, um, I think it's the only custom property I am I am using. And for the last one, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm using to moving that layer a uh, spring animation, very simple. But what is really powerful about that spring animation is that if you change the to value, the finish value, um, while the animation is going, you will see that um, it automatically updates. So uh, that was pretty difficult to do with with uh, core animation, but with pop, it's just really it's just changing the the to value while the animation is going. It doesn't work with the basic animation, but it does work pretty good with the spring spring animation and last I have uh, two custom controls um, they are not finished the only thing they do is uh, animate but they they don't have any callbacks or any uh, completion blocks or anything that one is uh, as I showed you before is a download button with a progress bar and then it goes back to a green, <coughs> green tick when it's completed um, yeah, I'm using. You will see if you download the uh, the project. I'm using different um, concatenating different animations, and I'm using the delegate to know when the animation has stopped to start the next one. And for that one, uh, that one has two parts. One is uh, drawing a a layer, a shape shaped layer. I'm animating the stroke of the CA shaped layer. I'm having quite a a problem here uh, it likes it starts and well I don't really like that I need to check that but what it's doing is drawing a circle and if you keep your finger for I think it's uh, 0.8 seconds it comes out with uh, different four different different icons it's quite uh, customizable so you can put as many icons as you want and you can um, set the angle that you want the the uh, the icons to go. So now I've, I've, I have four icons and I have 90 degrees. Uh, sorry, 180 degrees uh, value. So all the icons is co they are coming to the, to here. It's not finished. Uh, it's not gonna do anything apart from that. So you cannot check any any icon. Uh, it would be cool to to finish that. Uh, so. Here you have two different UA controls made with entirely with with pop, but they're not finished. So if you want, if you guys want to contribute, I'll, I'll be, I'll be very very happy. I'll try to finish it myself, but uh, right now I don't have time. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Cheers.